Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Freddie Roach goes racist on Ariza and Team Rios. Wow. And when I say wow, not because it surprises me that Freddie Roach went racist on, you know, uh, Team Rios and made Mexican racist comments. Why, the reason why I say wow is is because Freddie Roach was wild enough to say this shit in front of the entire Mexican Team Reels team, and he said this shit only like a few feet away from Robert Garcia. That's why I say wow to that shit. Now, if you watch the Freddie Roach reality TV show that Jim Lampley was the executive producer of, then you already would know that Freddie Roach was already affiliated and very closely affiliated with racism by way of relationship. His brother, who played a major part on this reality TV show, he was openly racist because this man had Nazi tattoos across his body that HBO was crazy enough to show on the actual TV show. See, this is what trips me out first off before I get into telling you guys exactly what happened in this little scuffle brawl with Freddie Roach and Team Rios. What trips me out with this reality TV show that, that Freddie Roach had, they knew, you, you have to understand something, when, when people make reality TV shows, they record all of the footage before they go ahead and broadcast it on TV. Okay, so they already know it's not like these guys are caught off guard and, and this is basically some shit that just popped up they didn't know about. No, they already recorded the footage. So they seen Freddie Roach's brother with fucking Nazi tattoos on his body before they released this shit and put it on HBO. Okay, they could have did many things. They could have said, you know what? Maybe Freddie Roach is not the best role model. Maybe Freddie Roach's brother and his family, they're not the best role models. Maybe we shouldn't we shouldn't do this show. All right? They could have said that. Or they could have just blurred the shit out, or they could have just completely removed Freddie Roach's brother from the fucking reality show. They could have did many things, but they didn't do that. Why? Because they love Freddie Roach. And I can guarantee you, even with this shit that Freddie Rose just said, Jim Lampley and HBO, they will continue to love Freddie Roach. This ain't going to change a damn thing. You think Freddie Roach is going to start receiving death threats like Tim Bradley did? Hell no. We know that ain't going to happen. You think everyone is going to start pouring in comments of, you know, fuck Freddie Roach and, and I hate him and this and that? No, nah, that ain't going to happen. At least not the same people who hated Tim Bradley, they're not going to send this shit about Freddie Roach. Hell, Freddie, he just received honors in the Philippines on 24-7. So do you think that the Philippines are going to denounce Freddie Roach now? Please, man. I could talk about this shit for two hours, man. But anyway, let me go ahead and give you guys the inside scoop of what basically took place today. Apparently, somewhat of a fight broke out at the Macau gym out there in China, because apparently uh, Team Pacquiao and Team Rios, they were supposed to both train at this gym at different times, okay? So uh, Freddie Roach, he walks into the gym, and he sees Garcia, and Team Garcia is still training. So Freddie Roach, he says, you guys got to get out of here. And uh, Garcia, Robert Garcia, he says, we ain't going nowhere. So that's basically what started the whole situation. Now, from this point on, tempers start to flare, and then all of a sudden, the scuffle breaks out. Now, what's so interesting about this is as the scuffle was already starting to die down, this is when Freddie Roach turns it right back up a few notches and plays the race card. Now, I had to re-edit this part because before I was just trying to listen to what Freddie Roach said exactly, but uh, Alex Ariza just said after the interview, that Freddie Roach, he basically called some Mexican guy a dirty Mexican. Then he said fucking Jews to Elliot Setback. And on the recording, you can clearly hear Freddie Roach say, you Mexican motherfucker. 
So it could be possibly that he said all three of these things, but we know he said that for a fact. And this is when you see the guy who has his fists up in the air when he was really trying to get at Freddie Roach. And then you hear, you hear, you just hear all kinds of people saying, Oh, you oh, you trying to get racist now? Oh, you want to get racist? So you know, this is what everyone was saying. And uh Freddie Roach uh was just standing there being protected, as you can see in this picture. Let me tell you guys something about Freddie Roach, man. There are different types of racist people in the world. And there are different things that will bring out a person's racism. Now, there are two things in particular that will bring out a person's racism. One is alcohol, which we call the truth serum. And the other one would be rage. And rage is what exposed the truth about Freddie Roach. I told you guys before how he did that reality TV show and his brother basically had Nazi tattoos on his body. And I remember that that, that really caught me off guard when I seen it. It kind of tripped me out. And, you know, you're left kind of questioning exactly what does this mean about Freddie Roach if his brother is rocking tattoos like this. And you guys know how, how you, you know, back in the day, you would play with a deck of cards where you would basically turn them all around, you would spread them out, and you would turn one card over, say if it's the King of Hearts. And then you try to find where the match, the other King of Hearts is, in that stack of cards, right? So I was trying to figure out the puzzle. I was trying to figure out the match and what exactly did it mean. When it came to uh, Freddie Roach's brother, who had the Nazi tattoos, that was one part of the puzzle. And then I was looking for the other piece of the puzzle, which that would tell me exactly what Freddie Roach is about. Is Does this mean that Freddie Roach is racist too? Or does it just mean that he's the total opposite of his brother? And I think we just found out our answer, right? This was the missing piece of the puzzle that I was looking for. And we just got that piece today. Now, before I continue talking about Freddie Roach being a racist, I want to commend Robert Garcia for showing so much class in this whole situation. I mean, the man is a gentleman and he's a stand-up guy. Because Robert Garcia, after hearing someone say something racist towards his own race, Robert Garcia, he refused to sink to Freddie Roach's level. Now, what's funny about this situation is this whole thing, it reminds me of a personal experience that I had with one of the neighbor's kids in my neighborhood about a year or two ago. Now, they were white, and uh, the kid's name was Ryan. Okay, Ryan was a friend of my kids, all right? And uh, I remember, you know, because I, uh, I got kind of close with, with Ryan's parents, and we would hang out sometime every now and then, and I remember they were telling me how uh, some Mexican kids wanted to beat up and jump uh, Ryan, right? And they just kept telling me, they, you know, these kids, they want to jump them and this and that and, you know, basically playing the victim card. And I'm sitting over here saying to myself, something ain't right. So I'm basically pressing them and I'm asking them, I'm like, wait, 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 why do they want to jump him? What happened? It had to be something that happened. And at first they kept saying, no, it was not. It was nothing that happened. You know, there's just a lot of bad kids at the school and et cetera, et cetera. So I keep pressing them. And I said, no, no, no. But it had to be something. Did he say something to him? Did he do something? Something had to be initiated for you to have a group of people that want to beat you up. You don't just go to school and people say, we're picking him to jump today. No, it doesn't work like that. Right. So after, you know, after continuously pressing them, they finally admitted that Ryan said a couple of bad things about these Mexicans. Right. And then I say, what kind of bad things did he say? And then that's when it comes out. Ryan, for whatever reason, he got upset and he said some racial, some racial offensive slurs about Mexicans. OK, and this is the reason why they wanted to beat his ass. And now it all makes sense, doesn't it? Of course, they wanted to beat his ass. If you're crazy enough to go to school making racist comments about a certain race, prepare to be in a fight. All right. 
Because these Mexicans, they didn't say anything racist about Ryan, but Ryan decided to say something racist about them. This reminds me of the Freddie Roach situation. You just have certain people in life, certain racist people in life, where they are so racist that they don't even have to be that upset, but they're kind of just looking for an opportunity to go out and say some racist shit towards another race. And they don't give a damn about getting their ass whooped. They, you know, a lot of them, they may not even know how to fight, right? They could be, they don't, they may not know how to fight. They may have never won a fight in their life, but they don't give a damn about getting their ass whooped. They just want to say the shit. And it's almost like you would look at them as being retarded. Like, did he just say that in front of me? You know, you have people like that in the world. Freddie Roach is one of those guys, all right? Freddie Roach is the type of guy, You, I mean, just watching this, you know, you can imagine what type of shit that Freddie Roach has said to other people in the past when the cameras weren't around. Just think about it, guys. Freddie Roach said this shit in front of the media. He said this shit in front of the media, and he said this shit in front of Brandon Rios' entire fucking team. This dude is fucking wild. You know, this exposes more of a reality when it comes to racism. Because you guys know by watching my channel where I speak the whole truth, nothing is out of bounds. So when I see, I cause it like I seize it. If I see racism, I'm going to talk about racism, right? And I always have like, you know, three or four percent of the people who watch all of my videos that say, Dante, why are you bringing up racism? Why are you bringing up racism? Now you need to ask someone like Freddie Roach, why would he bring up racism in a situation like this? They're having a scuffle. They're having a fight. He's getting into it with Alex Ariza, okay? No one is talking about race, so why does he elect to all of a sudden start talking about race? Because he is a fucking racist, right? And it goes even further than just talking about Freddie Roach. Now, see, guys, if I were to say to you, before this happened, just because I've seen Freddie Roach's brother with the Nazi tattoos, and I hear Freddie Roach making the exact same talking points that Jim Lampley uses, the exact same talking points, right? If I were to tell you Freddie Roach is a racist, what type of messages would I have received? You guys would have sent me messages, he ain't no fucking racist. He went to church with a black guy before. Oh, I, you know, he trained a black fighter. He ain't no racist. How could he be racist? He used to work with Eddie Futch. Eddie Futch was black, or he had Mexican, tra he had Mexican fighters. How can he be racist towards Mexicans? You know, he trained Mexicans, etc., etc. These are the type of messages I would have got from the small percentage of ignorant fans on YouTube, right? But thanks to Freddie Roach, he made it very easy to where we don't have to debate about it because he fucking said it himself. Now, going back to Freddie Roach and Jim Lampley having the exact same talking points, I told you guys for the longest that Jim Lampley is a racist. I mean, what does it tell you if Jim Lampley, he shares the exact same talking points as a fucking racist? Okay. If you even even if you read the messages on YouTube when it comes to people sending racist ass messages, do you guys notice even when it comes to Max Kellerman, Jim Lampley, Larry Merchant, you will notice the people who leave those racist messages, they will send a message using the exact same talking points. Matter of fact, sometimes it's word for word saying the exact same shit. The only difference from them and Jim Lampley is they will end the conversation calling you some racial some racial slur, calling you a nigga, calling you this, calling you that, right? So what does it say about Jim Lampley? It tells you that Jim Lampley, he thinks the same way, but Jim Lampley doesn't have the luxury that Freddie Roach or the anonymous keyboard warriors on YouTube have. So see, the only difference from Freddie Roach and these anonymous fans versus Jim Lampley is they can say the same things, at least the same talking points about boxing, but the difference is Freddie Roach and viewers on YouTube, they can be racially offensive. They can be as racist as they want to be because they have nothing to lose. But if Jim Lampley were to say some shit like this, he would lose his job. His career would be over with. Freddie Roach, on the other hand, he could be racist like this and people are still going to love him. You see the difference, guys? So that's what it is. I'm running out of time right now, and I'll probably finish up talking about some shit like this on another video. I'm on to the next one.